If you want to see how I went from bald to having these chunky, juicy, kinky twists, then you should definitely keep on watching. So the hair that I used to achieve this style was one pack of the Rasta Marley as well as one and a half pack of the Springy Afro Twist. As you can see, I did a big chop, so I really don't have much hair to work with, but I'm going to show you the simple method I used to easily install this hair. So I started off by sectioning and adding elastic band to my hair. Now in order for me to get straight and neat partings, I always go in with hair wax at my roots. So if your hair is short like mine or if you just struggle with parting, I would suggest that you go in with some hair wax at your roots and it will make your parting way much easier. After sectioning and adding elastic bands, I ended up with 43 sections in total. Next, I took two strands of the Marley hair and I cut each strand into five different pieces and that is what I used to attach to my real hair. Now this is what helped to keep my short hair in place so it didn't peek through my twist and it also helped to keep the elastic bands from sliding off. I took a little piece from each section and I just braided it onto my real hair. I didn't do any special braiding or anything like that. I just added the hair to my hair and braided it basically. If you're not a braider, if your hair is too short, or if you simply just don't know how to attach hair to your real hair, I'm going to show you a method that you can use to get the same result. All you have to do is take the marley hair and crochet it under the elastic band and then you just braid it with your natural hair. Your natural hair will be safely tucked in your braids and you will not see it pushing through your twists. Alright, so onto the actual twist. What I did was cut each strand of the Marley hair into two pieces and I took one piece as well as one piece of the Afro twist here to create one single twist. I stretched the hair because I didn't want the end of my twist to be blunt and I also fluffed the out because I wanted my twist to be a little chunky. Now I'm twisting the Marley hair and the Afro twist together so that it isn't bulky and I can easily crochet through my hair. Then I'm going to just twist the hair together and that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the sections. Just make sure that while you're twisting you're tucking the piece that you braided onto your natural hair. Can't deny it, it's just factual I'm the question in the back of your mind That makes you wonder why you wanna hide We found the meaning of life Oh, this isn't a phase, no It's in our DNA It's in our DNA Electric ride the roller coaster 
Now that I'm finished with my twist, I'm going to take my scissors and clip the ends so that they can all be even. And that's pretty much it. I love this style. I think it complements my face very well. The twists are chunky, but they are very, very lightweight. They are flexible and can be styled in many different ways. And a big plus is that I was able to achieve this hairstyle with my TWA. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos where I will be showing you how to style your short natural hair. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Baby, we got something natural. Kazania, it's just factual. I'm the question in the back of your mind that makes you wonder why you wanna.